Hello everyone. I am Dr. Sanjay S. S. Assistant Professor in Department of Chemistry, HDMIT, Ujjire. In this video, I will brief up regarding the experiment Determination of Percentage of Copper in Brass. Aim of the experiment to determine the percentage of copper in the given brass sample using standard sodium thiosulfate or the hypo solution. Composition of brass alloy composed of copper in major along with zinc, tin, lead and iron. Preparation of brass standard solution. So the brass strip will be given in the weighing bottle. It has to be transferred to a clean beaker. So the brass will have copper in the oxidation number zero. Upon the addition of HNO3, it is getting oxidized. Copper will be getting oxidized to Cu2 plus and it forms cupric nitrate. So during the, after the addition of nitric acid, we can see the brown fumes. It is exothermic and we have to cover it with a watch glass. And we can see the effervescence until all the brass strip dissolves completely. Later, one test tube of water has to be added. Later, it has to be heated over the flame. Then, urea has to be added so that all the nitrous acid will be eliminated away. After the addition, 5 seconds, 5 to 10 seconds, it has to be boiled. Rinsing. The watch glass underneath the part has to be rinsed because the vapors might have deposited. So distilled water is taken in the test tube and uh, inner wall of the watch glass is rinsed and its contents are taken to the beaker. Rinsing and its transfer. So the solution in the beaker has to be added to the standard flask by using the glass rod in this way. So beaker and glass rod, glass rod has to be aligned in such a way so that the solution will go into the standard flask through the glass rod. So this type of addition where the cupric nitrate solution is added into the standard flask through the glass rod, it avoids spillage and complete transfer of the solution. Later, the beaker has to be rinsed properly using distilled water and those content also has to be taken into the standard flask. Later, it has to be made up to the mark using distilled water to the mark given over here and it has to be tilted to make the solution uniform. Burette has to be filled with the hypo solution. So the addition of hypo can be done through the funnel and the initial reading has to be noted. Twenty five ml of standard brass solution has to be pipetted into a clean conical flask. To it, NH4OH is added to neutralize the nitric acid. NH4 is added, NH4OH is added until we end up getting a pale blue precipitate. So this is a light blue precipitate has formed. Now the exact pale blue precipitate. Later, addition of dilute acetic acid is done until the precipitate dissolves to neutralize the excess ammonium hydroxide. Few drops of acetic acid added carefully until the blue precipitate dissolves. 
potassium iodide is added to the solution. 5 cm cube of potassium iodide solution is added that will impart the yellowish brown color to the solution. Later it has to be immediately titrated against hypo solution to make it to pale yellow color from yellowish brown color. Later ammonium thiocyanate solution has to be added to it. 5 cm cube of ammonium thiocyanate is added during that time occluded iodine also will be starting to release. Immediately it has to be titrated underneath hypo solution and again it has to be made to pale yellow. So all the iodine will react with the hypo solution now and pale yellow to the pale yellow solution or the pale yellow mixture we need to add the starch upon the addition of starch we will end up getting starch iodide complex and iodine will be in its least concentration then it has to be added the starch has to be added and mixed well so that we can see the intense blue color formation It has to be titrated against hypo so the deep blue turns to milky white precipitate. So near the end hypo solution has to be added in drops so as to make exactly milky white precipitate. After that the final burette reading has to be noted down and three successive trials has to be carried out and agreeing titration value is noted as 17 cm cube. Concentration of sodium thiosulfate which was taken in the burette was 0 0.02 normal. Calculation Concentration of brass solution or its normality can be determined by knowing the normality of a hypo and uh, volume of hypo consumed during the titration and uh, volume of brass solution pipetted. Weight of copper in a liter of brass solution can be calculated by knowing the equivalent weight of copper and the strength of the brass solution. Weight of brass taken is 0.25 gram. Weight of brass in a liter of a solution can be weight of brass into 1000 over 200. Finally, the percentage of brass solution can be calculated by taking weight of copper into 100 over the weight of brass taken that gives to 60.64%. Thank you.